Let's do this easy one. It's a beautiful sum which you are going to do. We have a statement and we need to prove the statement. Now first let's understand from the statement what are we supposed to draw. Let's understand. It says prove that the sum of exterior angles of a triangle. That means the very first thing is we need to have a triangle. So we have taken a triangle. We have named it as triangle ABC. It says that sum of the exterior angles of a triangle. Okay. So when we say exterior angles of a triangle, right? We can actually create exterior angles, right? For a triangle, we can have six exterior angles. But are they asking us to draw all exterior angles, all six? No, observe. Obtained by extending its sides. Okay, obviously when we are creating exterior angle, we have to extend the sides. In the same direction. Now when we are extending the sides, there are two options. Here, like BC, we can extend it to the left or we can extend it to the right. It's saying in the same direction. Now how? Are we talking about the direction? It's very simple. Right? Like we can move from here. We can go like this. Right? That's one direction. That is anti-clockwise. Or we can go clockwise. We can go like this. Right? It is one direction we decide. So let's say I'm going to move like this. C to A, then A to B, then B to C. That I've decided. So one direction. Decide a direction. And then start making exterior angles. Okay? So let's say we start from here, if I start from here, C to A, that means you are going to extend C to A, yes, we get an exterior angle there, right, then C to A, then A to B, so it is extended, then C to A, A to B, then B to C, beautiful, is that clear, this is what we have to understand, so one direction to decide. So I took it anti-clockwise. We can go clockwise. So it can be B to A, then it can be A to C, then it can be C to B, right? So in such a way, when we do, how many exterior angles do we get? We get three exterior angles. One is angle B, A, P. The other one is angle Q, B, C. The third one is angle A, C, R. And what they are saying is that sum of the exterior angles so sum of all these extra angles, we need to prove that this sum is equal to 360 degree. But what have we drawn? Whatever we have drawn is nothing but the given. So let's write there. In this given, what do we have? We have three exterior angles for this triangle. So we say that angle PAB, angle QBC and angle ACR are exterior angles of triangle ABC. Done. What are we supposed to prove? As I said, we need to prove the sum of these exterior angles is 360. That means we have to prove angle PAB plus angle QBC plus angle ACR is equal to 360 degree. We got this. Right, so that's the figure. We have the given. We have the two proof. Let's think about the proof now. How are we going to prove this? This is going to be very, very, very simple. Since we are talking about an exterior angle, let's take about one angle at a time. Let's start with angle PAB. Angle PAB, we know it's an exterior angle. Now, when we have an exterior angle of a triangle, we think of remote into angles. So, for this, which are the two remote into angles? It's going to be angle ABC and angle ACB, isn't it? Yes. So, we write that angle PAB is an exterior angle of this triangle. So, we know the measure of an exterior angle is equal to sum of the two remote interior angles. So, let's write that angle PAB is equal to angle ABC plus angle ACB. And the reason is theorem of remote interior angles of a triangle. We wrote this. Simple. Let's mark this as result number one. So, we thought about angle PAB. Now, you know, we are very excited to write the next one because angle QBC, that's again an exterior angle. So, we are doing the same thing. So, we write the angle QBC is an exterior angle of triangle ABC. Therefore, angle QBC is equal to sum of the remote into angles with respect to that. And that means you'll write QBC is equal to angle BAC plus angle ACB. And that's our result number two. And the reason remains the same. That is theorem of remote interior angles of a triangle. Now you said, yes, we got it for QBC. Now we can do it for the third one. Which one is that? Angle ACR. So let's do it for angle ACR. So we say angle ACR is an exterior angle of this triangle ABC. So the two remote interior angles are BAC and ABC. So we write angle ACR is equal to angle ABC plus angle BAC. And that's the result number three. Reason remains the same. Theorem of remote interior angles of a triangle. Now we got this. But what are we supposed to prove? Angle PAB, we have it in result number one. Plus angle QBC, we have it in result number two. And plus angle ACR, we have it in result number three. We have to add them. 
add all the three left hand side that means we have to add all the three statements so when we add all the three statements we are going to write add the left hand side add the right hand side so we write add angle pab plus angle qbc plus angle acr left hand sides equal to now add the right hand side so it is angle abc plus angle acb plus angle bac plus angle acb plus angle abc plus angle bac beautiful we wrote this right now let's add it it's very easy right left hand side would remain as it is just solve the right hand side now angle abc plus angle abc we get twice of angle abc angle acb plus angle acb we get it as twice of angle acb angle bac plus angle bac we get it as twice of angle bac beautiful now what is there on the right hand side we take two common there now when we take two common there what do we get within the bracket there we have within the bracket we have angle abc plus angle acb plus angle bac beautiful now how do we solve now two remains as two within the bracket look at that angle abc here plus angle acb here plus angle bac now all those three angles if you see those are the angles of this triangle abc and we are talking about the sum of all the three angles of a triangle what is the sum equal to you know the sum is equal to 180 that means instead of that we can write it as 180 what is the reason it is angle sum property of a triangle now tell me what is twice of 180 twice of 180 is 360 degree that means now what we proved is angle pab plus angle qbc plus angle acr is equal to 360 degree and we got the proof this is what we wanted was that easy it's a very 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 beautiful one and yes please do not forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon